Hello children. In this video, we will learn about what is hundredth. There is a sale going on in several places in the Champapur market. Bunny and Bhola have come to the market to shop. First, they have come to Gaggu's shop to buy toys. There is a huge discount on toys at Gaggu's shop in the sale. Bhola wants to buy a new badminton racket. The new price, 110.50 rupees, has been written on this badminton racket by striking out the old price in this way. Bunny, what kind of a price is this? I understood 110 rupees, but how will we give this 0 0.50 rupees? Bhola asked Bunny. Bunny laughed and said, <laughs> Bhola, how many paise is 1 rupee equal to? 100 paise, Bhola replied quickly. Exactly. Suppose if we represent 100 paise by making a 100 squares in this way, then one square would be equal to one paise. If we take one of these hundred squares, then we can write it in the form of a fraction as one by hundred. Therefore, we can say that one paise is one by hundred or one hundredth part of a rupee. We can write one hundredth part of any number using decimal point as 0 0.01. The price of a badminton racket is 110.50 rupees. 0 0.01 rupee or one hundredth of a rupee is equal to one paise. Therefore, 0 0.50 rupees will be equal to 50 hundredth part of 1 rupee or 50 paise. In this way, the price of a badminton racket is 110 rupees and 50 paise. Bunny explained to Bhola. Bhola quickly understood. Bhola bought the badminton racket by giving 110 rupees and 50 paise to Gaggu. Now, both of them have come to eat ice cream at Babban's ice cream stall. Chocobar ice cream is being sold at a heavy discount at Babban's stall. Seeing the new price of Chocobar ice cream, 4 rupees 25 paise, Bhola told Bunny, Bunny, I can write the new price of the ice cream using decimal point. Children, can you tell how we will write the new price of Chocobar ice cream using decimal point? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Chocobar ice cream costs 4 rupees and 25 paise. Just as we write one-tenth of any number using a decimal point, in the same way, we can write one-hundredth of any number using a decimal point. Here, 25 paise is 25-hundredth part of a rupee. So, we will first draw a decimal point, then write zero before it, because 25 hundredth is less than one whole. Now, since 25 paise is 25 hundredth of a rupee, we will write the number 25 in front of the decimal point. And do you know how we read the number written in the hundredth part? We will always read the number written in the hundredth part 
after the decimal point by speaking its digits like the number written here becomes 0.25 now if we add 0 to 4 what do we get 4 in this way we can write the new price of chocobar ice cream as 4.25 rupees using the decimal point. Bunny and Bhola bought one one chocobar ice cream each from Babban and happily returned home eating ice cream. Children, in this video we learned about what is hundredth. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned about what is hundredth. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Appu and Chanda have come to the market to buy tables for their respective homes. Chanda liked this table very much. She asked uncle, How long is this table uncle? Uh, this table is a 1.20 meters long. Uncle told Chanda, How many meters would that be uncle? I didn't understand anything, asked Chanda. Chanda dear, I will explain to you. Tell me, how many centimeters is one meter? Hundred centimeters. Exactly. It means one centimeter is one hundredth part of a meter. Let me tell you, how we can write the hundredth part of any number using decimal point. A centimeter is one hundredth of a meter. Here we are dividing one by one hundred. Can you tell me how many zeros are there in a hundred? Uncle asked Chanda. Two zeros. Absolutely right. Now it's very easy. We will move the decimal point twice to the left. Starting from the end of the number like this one. And... Because this number only has one digit, we can add a zero on the left side. And then slide the decimal point to the left for the second time. In this way, one centimeter becomes 0 0.01 meter. Uncle explained to Chanda. Okay, now I understood uncle. The length of this table is 1.20 meters. 20 or 20 hundredth of a meter is written after the decimal. Because one hundredth part of a meter is equal to one centimeter. 20 hundredth part of a meter will be equal to 1 into 20 or 20 centimeters. So, the length of this table will be 1 meter and 20 centimeters. Well done Chanda. You learned very quickly. Uncle said to Chanda. Appu liked this table. Uncle, what is the length of this table? Chanda asked uncle. 2 meters and 5 centimeters. Uncle said to Chanda. Children, 
can you tell how we can write the length of this table using decimal point? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. The length of the table is 2 meters and 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters is the 500th part of a meter. In other words, we are dividing 5 by 100. To write it using the decimal point, we will move the decimal point to the left once starting from the end of 5 first according to the procedure taught by uncle and then because 5 is made up of only one digit we will once again move the decimal point to the left by adding a 0 to the left of 5 in this way 5 centimeters is 0 0.05 meters. Now, if we add 2 meters to it, the length of the table will be 2.05 meters. Chanda and Appu bought their own tables and happily returned home. Children, in this video, we learned more about what is hundredth through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned more about hundredth through some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some of the misconceptions related to this. Bunny has come to help Barbole uncle at his shop today. Babban has come to buy cloth for his scarf from uncle. He asked uncle for a 2.5 meter long cloth. Uncle asked Bunny to cut a 2.5 meters long cloth and give it to Babban. Bunny measured the cloth with a tape and gave it to Babban. Babban paid the money for the cloth to Uncle and returned home. On returning home, when Babban measured the cloth with his tape, he found that the length of the cloth was 2.05 meters. He immediately reached uncle's shop. When he told this to uncle, uncle once again measured that cloth with his tape and found that Babban was right. The length of the cloth was actually 2.05 meters. He asked Bunny about this. But uncle, 2.05 meters is equal to 2.5 meters, right? Bunny said to uncle. Uh, look Bunny dear, in 2.05 meters, decimal point is followed by 05 or 500 part of a meter. And uh, how many centimeters of a meter is equal to five hundredths? Five centimeters. Bunny quickly replied. Exactly. Uh, in this way, 2.05 is equal to two meters and five centimeters. Now, in the same way, in 2.5 meters, the number after the decimal is 5 or the 5 tenth part of a meter. 1 tenth part of a meter is equal to 10 centimeters. Therefore, the 5 tenth part of a meter will be equal to 
टेन टाइम्स फाइव और फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर्स दस टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स इज इक्वल टू टू मीटर्स एंड फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर्स अंकल एक्सप्लेन बनी वेल नाउ आई अंडरस्टैंड अंकल दैट टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मीटर एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर आर नॉट इक्वल and i accidentally gave babban cloth of the wrong length bunny told uncle bunny immediately took back the cloth from babban and this time measured 2.5 meters or 2 meters and 50 cm of cloth using his tape cut it and gave it to babban Babban happily returned home with the cloth of the right length this time. Children, in this video we learned about some misconceptions related to 100th